Hello. In my last video, I showed how to quickly create an example graph with the arrows tool. You can find it on YouTube and the Neo4j channel. So I basically built this uh, Twitter graph, which uses posted tweets and other users uh, posted tweets that reply to these tweets and tweets that tags and so on. And so basically turned them into cipher statements with an arrow. Right, because uh, not everyone can write Cypher already when they start with Neo4j. So that was a quite useful and helpful tool. Today I want to show you a different way of doing that. So you can spin up a Neo4j cloud database or a um, Neo4j desktop. Here I just started an empty uh, graph in Neo4j desktop, um, just created a new graph and started it, nothing else. And then uh, I started Neo4j browser uh, from from desktop, and in Neo4j browser, I gonna uh, enter play colon play insert, which will open a browser guide that I wrote to make it easier to add data to Neo4j. So this browser guide explains a little bit uh, what it does. Uh, basically, it lo allows you to uh, add data in form fields, and this allows you to create individual nodes, relationships, or uh, find them or create indexes constraints and also mask create nodes and relationships. So we look at uh, some of those right now. So let's see. So it starts with an uh, example data. So from a matrix um, movie database, so we have a person named Keanu Reeves who acted in the movie with the title of the matrix. So as you can see here, it auto, auto fills in the cipher statements for both nodes and then for creating the relationship. So if you just click them, then it will create these things. So we can actually try this out. So I just click uh, create person, Keanu Reeves, return Keanu Reeves. So you see there's a new node in the database, which you can also find here, people. And that's Keanu Reeves. And now we can do the same with the matrix movie, get the matrix, and then we can actually find both the person and the movie, and then create an acted in relationship between the two. Which we can see when we enable connect result nodes, and then it actually shows them. Right. Okay, cool. So, but now we want to actually create our Twitter graph. So I just uh, delete everything. That's actually something I should add to this, uh, to this thing, delete everything. Um, other things that you can also do is uh, you can uh, either importantly create nodes and relationships. So that means no, no matter how often I run the statement, only one node is created. So if I run these statements up here multiple times with create, then it creates multiple nodes. But if I run the statements with merge, which is kind of get or create, it will only create a node or relationship once and not multiple times. Okay, if you want to create our Twitter graph, uh, we said we have a user with a name of Mark. So we can just create a user uh, named Mark. Uh, there's Mark. We can also create a user named Andreas was in our example. So we create a user named Andreas. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we had uh, Mark created a uh, tweet. So we can put in here the node on the left side or on the right side, doesn't really matter. Let put let me put it in here on the right side. Tweet uh, text hello world. So we have our first tweet, and then uh, we had here the relationship. It's not acted in but posted. So we see we find a user mark, we find a tweet, and then we create a posted relationship between the two. Let's do this. So we see. Oops, sorry. I created Andreas last. So Andreas posted a hello world in our case. So I have to pay a little attention what I created last. And then we can say, okay, now, uh, for instance, Mark created another tweet, which said, um, sorry, uh, Mark created another tweet, which said, hello, Andreas. Uh, so we can find, create this tweet and then create a relationship, but we could also scroll down here and say, we find a uh, user mark, find, get or create user mark, get or create a tweet, and then get or create a related relationship. So we can do all in once. And then uh, the last thing that we wanted to do is to say the tweet 
the text uh, hello Andreas reply to the tweet with the text hello world all right so let's let me just check the existing tweets hello world is spelled okay so it's case sensitive so and then if I run this it finds a tweet um, called Andreas and then uh, so I tweet hello Andreas and hello world and uh, A replies to uh, B. Right, so we should get knowledge chip like this. So hello Andreas reply to hello world. And so if I look at all my data here, now in my graph I have um, Andreas tweeted hello world, Mark replied with his tweet to as hello Andreas and so on. Right? So this allows us with just entering stuff into form fields to uh, add nodes and relationships. On the second page here, we can actually use the same uh, thing to find stuff. So we can sign, find all users named Mark. So we can run this statement. So it's actually also a good learning tool to see what does the Cypher statement uh, look like that I need to, for instance, find data or for instance, find all users. So here are all our users, um, or we can say, uh, find all the neighbors of users, so all the nodes that are uh, neighbors of users. So I can say uh, posted of the posted relationship. So find all neighbors. So we find all the posted neighbors of, of uh, Mark. Right? Uh, but we can also say find me all um, neighbors of, of the other node with an incoming relationship. So I can also say I want to flip it around um, and so on. So there's also a multi-degree network. So I can also say find me a multi-hop network between a user uh, named Mark and up to three uh, hops apart, uh, which is this one now. And if I run this, it should show me like a whole graph because three hops for Mark is Andreas is first hop, hello world is this, and uh, Andreas himself is the third hop, right? And if you want to change the number of hops, then you can do this uh, here, for instance, and then it shows you a shorter path. Okay, and um, on the last page, so it also has shortest path, so we can also say find me the shortest path between uh, Mark and, and Andreas. And um, if I run this, I also get this path between the two, right? So could I also imagine that's like a LinkedIn sh uh, shortest path, how many hops are between me and someone else, for instance, on the social network. Okay, on the next page, we can create uh, constraints and uh, indexes. So for instance, if I have a, a user and I want username to be unique, then I can run this uh, constraint, for instance. So it creates a constraint. So when I want to, would, if I would create another user named Mark here, then it would complain that a user with this name already exists. So it's uniqueness constraints. But merge would still work because we, uh, uh, we do get to create on those. Right, so if I do merge on this, uh, it still works because it would not create duplicates. So the same is true for, for indexes. So for instance, if I have something uh, like a uh, description or title or so that I want to use an index for, then I can use this as well. Okay, cool. And on large, last page, I can create much more data. So I can say comma separated values into the values field. Um, so uh, I could say I want to create 10 users, for instance, of, or let's say three users. Uh, so for instance, we want to uh, create Mark, Michael, Ryan, Kareen, Jennifer, Will, um, Elaine, in one go. So I had here a statement that will create all my users. So it basically takes the text and splits it by comma and then creates 
uh, an user for each of the entries so we should be able to get all 10 users quickly created the same is true with other data so if i can just comma separate that it's easy um, if you want to you can also use a different separator and then you just have to change it here uh, but we should probably also make this configurable which separator is used same on the other side and then we can also do the same with um, creating both for one to many and many to many relationships as well Okay, and on the last picture, I have a few references, especially the Cypher reference card is quite uh, useful uh, for learning more uh, about Cypher quickly. Um, so, for instance, if I open this, uh, you can see here is uh, like a lot of information. There. Okay, and that was my then not so short video on how to create data with uh, play insert. Uh, the interactive browser guide for entering graph data with form fields. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps you a little bit. Bye.